Hey there, baseball fans. It's Ben, and I am back uh, today with some more uh, baseball card collection breaks. So my friend Paulie Pax and I, uh, go check him out on YouTube, I headed over to our old, our good friend Bob, uh, who we bought a lot of collections from before in the past, and uh, went through his stuff some more and got some more stuff. So uh, what I want to go through today is he has this, what we would all consider a world-famous um, kind of a giant box of we'll call vintage, wrecked up vintage cards. So uh, he lets us go through that from time to time and just pull things out that we find interesting. So as you can see, they're not in good shape. So you can see with the accordion, the springboard style cards we got here. Um, but I did want to go through and show you some of the ones I pulled from that box because they're cool to have. Um, actually, the first two are, did not come from that box. This is Joe Montana Football Heroes. 1991 upper deck, I think. A 91 top stadium club for uh, Andre Dawson. Uh, a Sean Dunstan for me in the upper deck 92 team card. Uh, Juan Gonzalez. This is the correct version of his rookie card from 90 Donuts. All right, so these are the these are the vintage cards I pulled from the, from the random box of vintage from Bob's collections. We got a 1977 tops Keith Hernandez. I just reminded that all these cards are a little suspect. You can see there's a nice bend in these. But again, it's just really fun to have these cards that otherwise I wouldn't ever be able to own. Here's a 1971 Steve Garvey. Uh, I don't know if, I, don't, I think that's a second year card for him, maybe. Uh, first game in the majors was 1969, so yeah, probably second year card for Steve Garvey. Uh, then we have the 1972 Rookie Stars for the Dodgers with Charlie Huff. Uh, and I, I already had a couple of these, um, and I think I got a few more somewhere in this pile, so... I'm just going to put that aside because I know I've got more than... This is Mike Schmidt with a full beard in 1982 Fleer. There is a 1972 Rookie Stars, Carlton Fisk. So a Carlton Fisk rookie card there, which I've gotten a few of those out of that box. Here's a 1977 Carlton Fisk. Great action shot of him there. And that one's not in too bad a shape. Uh, National League All-Stars with Dave Parker and Gary Carter. Totally random that there's a modern card in here. This is... Uh, Mike Piazza, 1998, Pacific Paramount. All right, there's a 1972 Topps Traded, Steve Carlton. Baseball's biggest trades. That's cool. Yeah, and there were some of these Don Russ 2003s in there. There's Jason Veritek, Ricky Henderson, Tim Wakefield, Nomar Garcia Parra, Manny Ramirez, and Johnny Damon. So all these Red Sox players from the 2000s. It's just strange that they were all in there, but they're card I like to pull out. So there's a Billy Canigliaro for the Red Sox, 1971. There's his rookie cup card. And right, we got a Johnny Bench in action from 1972. A Jim Cott, Hall of Fame pitcher there from 1971. And this is from 1974 or 76, I forget, 76 tops maybe. Uh, but this is the, the Hank Aaron special where it goes through all of his tops cards, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know what year this is, but it's got the all-time victory leaders, and this is Cy Young on the top here. 511 victories. That is bananas. So a couple of those. Uh, 1974 tops stolen base leaders with Lou Brock. You can see that's in pretty rough shape there. There's Jim Palmer from 1974 Tops, and then Todd Helton randomly in here too. Uh, all right, so 1972 Tops, Doc Ellis. I just love the, the mystique of Doc Ellis throwing a no hitter while on acid. So that was always an interesting one to look at. There's a 1981 Don Russ, Johnny Bench, and a Rod Carew. We got a Ted Williams from 1971 when he's a manager for the Washington Senators. There's Brooks Robinson commits robbery in the game five of the World Series. There was also a lot of vintage football in there. So this is a Roger Staubach in rough shape, but Roger Staubach, 1972 tops. So that's a really cool one too. Uh, there's a 77 tops Jim Palmer. There's a Reggie Jackson from 73. Terrible shape on that one. And uh, then we have the 1973 rookie outfielders with Dwight Evans. There's a Harmon Killebrew from 1972 in action. Tug McGraw from 72, in action card there. Steve Carlton from 72. 
right, so these are 1968. It kind of uh, goes back and looks at the World Series. These are uh, Fleer cards from 1968, looking at the World Series. I've gotten a handful of those before. There's a 1971 strikeout leaders with Tom Seaver for, and Fergie Jenkins. There's a 1970 Bobby Mercer for the Yanks. 1973 rookie, another Dwight Evans rookie. So that's this one's in better shape than the last one, but it's got a crease in the middle. But in a better shape than the last one. There's another Doc Ellis from 1974. We have a Reggie Jackson and Willie Stargell, 1973 home run leaders from 74 tops. There's a Fergie Jenkins for 77. Uh, 72 Tug McGraw and a Jim Hunter from 1970. Again, all very poor condition, but uh, again, just cool cards to own. So 1972 Jim Cott, a Tony Oliva, 72. 1971 Burt Blylevin, early in his career. Oh, that's a rookie card for him. It shows what I know. Burt Blylevin rookie, and that's actually, you know, it's not in good shape, but it's in better shape than a lot of the other cards in this in this box here. There's a 72 Roberto Clemente. So, I mean, this, I've never really owned a lot of Roberto Clemente cards, um, certainly not original ones. So it's really cool to have this in my collection here. Um, there's a 73 Tony Oliva. There's a 72 Reggie Jackson. It's really messed up, but a nice, cool card there. All-time shutout leader, Walter Johnson with 113. 73, Tom Seaver. There's an 81, Jim Cott. There's a 73, Don Sutton. Can't believe how long that guy played. Uh, then we get the 1971 in RBI leaders for the National League with Joe Torre, Willie Stargell, and Hank Aaron, no less. Always cool to get an actual Hank Aaron card. Uh, J.R. Richard. I just love like learning about his story. What a kind of lost to history, it seems like this. I don't know if this is his rookie because he kind of bounced around up and down from the bigs to the lower leagues, but 1974, J.R. Richard. What a remarkable pitcher he was for the period that he was able to be healthy. So there's a uh, Archie Manning from uh, 1972 Tops. That's an Archie Manning rookie card. There you go. And of course, he went, went on to have two very successful quarterback sons. This is another one of those 1968 Fleer showing the, the World Series. Things. There's a 1974 Thurman Munson. There's a Mari Wills in action from 72. And a Reggie Jackson in action from 72. There's a Johnny Unitas. Mr. Straight Laced, 1972. Johnny Unitas for the Colts. There's Pete and Repeat. Pete Rose with his son in 1982 Fleer. There's a Tom Dempsey from the Eagles from 1972. Look at this, Nolan Ryan, 1981 Donruss. This is one that I'm going to add to my personal collection. There's our second Charlie Huff and our third Charlie Huff. Here's an 82 Fleer, George Brett. 72 Tops, Thurman Munson. A couple of those. Uh, Vita Blue, Will Reward, and Jim Palmer for the 71 ERA leaders for the AL. There's Frank Tanana leading the strikeouts in 1975, but we got Burt Blylevin and Gaylord Perry, two Hall of Famers right there behind him. Um... Couple all stars, first baseman with Dick Allen and Hank Aaron. So that's really cool. This one's all messed up, but it is Reggie uh, Reggie Smith, but Frank Robinson and Harmon Killebrew for the AL RBI leaders in '71. Uh, there's Gary Carter with Fernando Valenzuela. This is uh, Goose Gossage for 1975 Fireman. Uh, we got Norm Cash and Reggie Jackson for the home run leaders. Another one like that. Another one of those Jim Palmer, Vita Blue cards. There's another Charlie Huff rookie there. It makes four for us. 1971 strikeout leaders with Tom Seaver and Fergie Jenkins again. There's a 1972 Tom Seaver. We have this uh, Roger Stahl back here with Pro Action. I'm not sure what year that is. And then there's a Willie Stargell, 1972. On to the last bit of the stack here. We've got another Charlie Huff rookie. Makes, makes number, what is that? One, two, three, four, five. Number five. And I already have two of my collections, so I've got six of those now. There's another Doc Ellis. Uh, there's another one of these Jim Palmer Vita Blue cards. We've got uh, another Tom Seaver League Leaders. There's a Thurman Munson Rookie Cup card from 1971 Tops. Good action shot there. There's a 1977 Nolan Ryan, which super happy to add that to my personal collection. Outside of this dinged corner here, it's really not too bad either. 
Another Thurman Munson Rookie Cup card. There's a 1972 Bob Gibson. 72 Yaz. There's Yogi Berra as a manager for the New York Mets. From 73. The 1971 NFL NFC passing leaders with Roger Staubach, Greg Landry, and Bill Kilmer. So that's a cool card there. Frank Robinson as a player, 1972. Harold Baines, 1982 tops. So that's a second year card for him. 1970 rookie stars, Billy Canigliero. So that's cool. 72, Joe Morgan. And then we've got a couple Ken Griffey Sr. rookies right in a row here. I've had a few of these already in my possession, so there are three of them right in a row. Luis Aparicio for the Red Sox from 73. Carly Ostremski, 73. Two more 72 uh, Yaz cards. There's a Tug McGraw, 72. Jim Cott, 77. Jim Palmer, 77. And then four <laughs> Fleer Provisions. So quite a weird... Uh, collection there but there's like so many fun vintage cards i really 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 enjoy going through them i actually got distracted going through all the vintage stuff um from that junk box um uh today at bob's that uh, uh Polly packs ended up getting a lot a lot better boxes of cards in collection than i did because i was so uh, on those vintage ones but i'm super happy with the vintage ones i got to pull even if they are in rough shape just fun and exciting to own them so hope you guys enjoyed it i'll see you next time